Yeah, you just come for it a little bit. Oh, yeah, it's very close. Silly old fool, it's still tied to the dock, look. It's nice to get out. Going out on the new dinghy, a friend of mine's coming in. Uh, he's by himself, needs a bit of help. So the idea is I'm going to join him mid channel. Whoops, I'm just getting used to this thing. Slow down! Nice to see the uh, marina from the outside. Going down the river somewhere. The uh, thing is that Colin's single-handed, he's not used to being single-handed, he normally has crew, so I'm uh, going to go on board the boat. I'm, not, I'm just getting used to this machine as well, it's not... Uh... Ah! Okay, yeah, you just carry on now, I'm fine. Even though we're just on the river, it's nice to be out of the marina on a beautiful day. While going up the river, bumped into these guys, haven't seen them for a while. Uh, they actually have a, an electric engine in this boat. <laughs> Trying to work out who's got right away here, you can see that. It's um, a radio controlled yacht, about a foot long. <laughs> it's nice to get out. I didn't know who's right away it was. I will stand up, come on! <laughs> There's a peacefulness about rivers early in the morning. Absolutely beautiful, and that includes the town itself. And then there's oddities like this guy. This is a big boat, so we're going to try and turn her uh, before we get to the bridge there. Right, you should look, you look good now to turn now. Yeah, find your ass. Yeah, right. just, yeah, you just come for it a little bit. Oh, yeah, it's very close. My dinghy. A heart-stopping freeze-frame moment when I realized my dinghy was behind the boat. Uh, was it squashed? Was it damaged? Luckily, it just missed and everything was okay. Successfully turned the boat. Well, the wind's more or less on the nose, so that's, that's not too bad. A few minutes later, we had successfully got Colin's boat back on his berth. Meantime, for me, it was back to work. If you'd ever carried an anchor windlass around a boat, you'll know it's heavy. <laughs> it's not supposed to be carried around the boat. It's supposed to be fixed to the boat. And that's what I'm doing or trying. This is a wooden insert, um, which goes underneath with uh, bolt holes drilled and this is space for cables to run through and uh, this is the uh, the windlass i keep calling it a winch i was brought up with calling it a winch it's a windlass that fits on there like that but the whole thing is uh that way around so uh, anyway trying to get this done but this job is just dragging itself out these are the mounting bolts they're actually studs um, which go in the bottom of here. Uh, they then have to all um, agree with the holes on this and uh, then the ones in on the deck. So it's, a, it's a, there's a lot of things that could go wrong on this. They only got to run cables from there out through those and down into the boat somehow. These in the meantime are not going to go in easy, so it's out with a tin of rusty grease. I hope the grease isn't rusty, the tin is. I just started this job. It's going to rain big time. Oh crap. Okay. I think this is going to have to wait because it's going to come pouring in on me now. Yeah. No. Let me get this inside quick. Whoa. My neighbour was just about to go out for a walk. I suggested he take a coat with him and he came back. <laughs> lucky, lucky he did. Blowy and nasty outside, but I just thought, hell, I, want, I need to finish this job. So I'm going to finish putting these studs in and that will do it. 
Um, yeah, they screw in their studs and then the bolt, uh, the nut is rather is going to go on the end there. And uh, I want to know how deep I have to actually screw these in. It's a little bit difficult, but I, I put um, some grease on. So what I did is I've got a lolly and I put it down the hole like that. And then I marked uh, where it was. And there's the mark. Then transferred that to there. So I know how deep it's got to go in. Because I can't, I can't put a, 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 a mole or anything like that onto here. Um, because I don't want to damage this thread. So I'm going to try this. Two nuts together. Because as I said, I can't grip the actual thread. I'll damage it. So what I've done is put two nuts on here. One two and I'm going to tighten up one against the other to make like a lock nut kind of thing yeah so I've uh, I've tightened one against the other so they're tight together and they're tight on the thread so I'm it's hard to see but it is turning it it is to, and there's some there's some that's hard to do so which is good it's got to get down got to get down but it is actually turning the um, the stud that's good just discovered using that wasn't a good idea because it's quite narrow and the bottom of the hole is uh, concave if you will and that went deeper than the actual thread a pencil actually works perfectly oh your last chance to be a superstar i was just looking he's got a he's got a tv there to watch my videos on um, but look at this this wheel it go it goes like in under the boat and it's so big bottom of your wheel stick out the bottom of your boat yeah 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 <laughs> it looks like it still tied to the dock look <laughs> you're not going anywhere i was jealous my friends were going off sailing, and for me it was work. So a bit of hole widening. Um, I'm so confident that that's going to make it this time, because it didn't fit on properly a few minutes ago. Didn't film it because there were lots of swear words. So confident, I'm even going to put this on. This is a uh, barrier between the mounting and the winch itself. Got to put my tools away in a minute, including this toilet paper. Why toilet paper? A tip when you're working upside down and there's a hole, <laughs> you should block it up. Because, uh, yes, I did. I dropped one of the nuts I was using earlier on and it went down there. I managed to get it out quite easily, but um, you know that's an accident waiting to happen. Right, okay, that was just a quick tip. That's on now, so um, make sure I get this right way around. That's the fellow. Oh, yes. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Okay, so the next thing is to see whether these studs line up with these holes. Okay. Yeah. On the old windlass, the chain came down here and fell into the, uh, the locker down here. On this one, it goes round and then down here and out through the bottom of here hence the hole that I made here not sitting totally flat yet because she's not bolted down but that's more or less the position that she's going to be in so I just got out of bed and I'm getting hassled from the Canadians <laughs> who want me to move my boat by Canadians no less they're taking over the world right yeah so we're turning the boat round uh, to make room for another boat basically. So there's another boat going to fit in there and one going to go over there so I've got to turn us around uh, so I can get out of there when I need to. Right. Okay, ready? Looking good. <laughs> Don't work too hard, Jim. Right, nice and slowly. I mind the wind will break it, the wind will stop us. From... Yeah. Right yeah, you want to pull, maybe grab hold of that and take it further up. Okay. It. That's it. That's the one. Oh. Yeah. Well, I'll just tie me up and I'll jiggle. I'll jiggle everything until it's. Uh, 
Jiggle it, yeah. Do you want you to go on first because the wind's coming down this way? Yeah. If you can. Oh, look at this, look at this. I did it, again. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> At last, Shadi was safe and sound back in her berth, but facing in the opposite direction. But the next day, more adventures. Well, good morning, everybody. What are we doing, Barry? Well, we're moving boats today. Okay. Uh, one's moved over there, and now we're going to go get a big catamaran uh, that's had a problem with some nasty people who've taken something off it, so we're going to bring it over here for safety. And it's very early in the morning. I've got my coffee. <laughs> very early in the morning. Very early, okay. <laughs> Once again, on yet another morning, the river looked absolutely beautiful. And on rivers, you tend to see different types of boats like this one. But our boat was this. This is what we had to move. A rather large catamaran, which was moored between two poles. The thing with this is somebody else's boat and we don't want to damage it and uh, it's a big beast <laughs> and we've got to take it through the same gap that I went through the other day. We're just stealing this boat, hope you don't mind. The way most marine engines are cooled are with seawater that's ejected out through the exhaust. It was at this point, in the, in the middle of this rather busy and crowded uh, seaway, I noticed we had a problem. We've got problems with the cooling on the engine. Yeah, you've got water at high reds. There's, there's water now. How are you doing on the other side for water, he's asking. He's asking about the water on there. Just a little bit. There's a boy there. We certainly didn't want to damage the engines with overheating. They had to have their cooling water. So we turned one of them off, the one that wasn't working very well. Uh, I got back in the, the dinghy because uh, maneuvering into a, a crowded marina, which is what uh, we were going to do, uh, with one engine on a catamaran is uh, not ideal. Even though my, my mate Martin is looking pretty chipper there, this was going to be a tight squeeze. That's it, all right, you're out. You got about a foot here, Hank. My fellow blogger friends on Bagheera were looking decidedly nervous as we squeezed past. We good? Yeah, we're all good, mate. Turn the engines off if you Turn have the to. Engines off, Hank. You, perfect. Brilliant. Look okay, at that. Right here. Look at that. Sweet. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Like getting an elephant in a chocolate box. Yes, I have <laughs> driven a boat. Before. Yeah, baby. That's a big boat. They got they got us up early, so uh, Captain Hank okay, back there know. owes everybody a lot of beers. Okay. Love when it was dark this morning. See how close he's to Shaddy. Look who's coming out to play. Right. I've been putting it off, but I might as well do it. As you've seen before, I've already done a test fitting. Uh, the plate is already drilled and fixed and ready to go. Uh, the mastic is going on. Now is the time for the final fitting. A mess, but I hope that'll work. Gently lowering the winch into place, this moment of triumph was then ruined by a silly accident that happened now. I just hit myself on the bloody... When I wiped away the blood, the pain and the annoyance of that situation was quickly forgotten. When I stood back and looked at this, at last, my new windlass. Just discovered this place around the back of the uh, boatyard. It's like a mini workshop. It's got a bench and... Uh, 
a vice, which is great, like an outside man cave. So I bought some bits here, gonna do some work. Weather's dry, so that's good. I think this is the first time in my life where I've ever had a, a workbench I could actually work on. Restoring some old U-bolts to be used on the boat was, was a pleasure. And another pleasure I was having here in New Zealand was being able to buy good canned food, like spaghetti in tomato sauce with sausages. Mm -mm. Quite a few people have asked me to show more of New Zealand. Well, we'll get to that. In the meantime, here's a little walk I do around Whangarei. It's called the loop. It kind of loops around the town and over the river. Enjoy. Next time on Adventures of an Old Sea Dog. Whoa, ladies and gentlemen, is what I paid for. This is where all the swearing and cussing comes. Back. Oh. Meow, 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 meow. Look at that. That's brilliant. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe. And even if you have, don't forget to press the little notifications bell there. That way you'll never miss another episode.